Welcome to my video about how to get longer lashes. Yes, that's right. I have found a fabulous mascara and actually I'm not the first person who's found it, I'm sure, because this is in Ulta and it's just recently been released, but I am amazed at the gorgeous thick long lashes that this mascara gave me. This is the Damn Girl Mascara and for some reason there seems to be a trend lately in naming things kind of cuss words, but damn is not too strong a word and I have to say when I look at my lashes, damn girl, they look almost like lash extensions. In fact, I've never had a mascara up to this point anyway that gave me the long thick lashes that this mascara does. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking the best you can if you're over 50, then I hope you'll click that bell and subscribe to my channel. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, let's look at the claims of this mascara. And in just a few moments, I'll take off my eye makeup and I'll apply this so you can see just how it works. Now this is the Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara and it is a Too Faced product and I do love the Too Faced brand, one of my favorites. And this says for shamelessly thick and curled lashes and I think these are thick and curled. It says you get 97% full on volume. It says you have 100% intense black lashes. There's only one color and it is black. It claims that 99% of women found that the mascara was very long wearing and that 95% of women said it helps your lashes keep their curl. And I have to say that from the very first minute I tried this on, I was in love because I really like those kind of glamorous, almost false eyelash looking lashes. So let me take off this eye makeup and I'll show you how this works. To make my lashes a little more clean and a little more ready for this dramatic mascara, first I'm going to use my little lash comb and it is metal. And I do like this one because it really gets all the lashes standing straight up on end. Now I'm going to go in with my curler and I'll just grab all of them there. And sometimes you'll see YouTubers do a stair-stepped approach. And I tried that yesterday morning thinking, oh, that would be great to get more curl. And it looked like my lashes were like zinging straight up in the air, not good. So I just do about a five second on either one. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Damn Girl, and I really kind of like that name, Damn Girl. Those are lashes. And I have to say, I tried this on in Ulta because they do have the little sterile, the little sterile mascara ones. And I did ask the girl, you know, how long this mascara had been out, and she said, oh, it's just been out about a day, so you should be fine because it's a little bit scary even dipping a clean wand into a mascara tube at Ulta but I was crazy amazed by this mascara. And in fact, the girl, I put it on one eye. She told me that she could tell I had the new mascara on from across the room. And when you're putting on mascara, I like to do something called the Bambi technique, which is basically that you put it on and focus on the outside first, and then you focus on the inside and then the middle, because remember Bambi had those incredible eyelashes put some on the bottom there. Well, that is the first coat, which is pretty darn amazing. And so I'm going to go through and kind of brush that out. The one thing about this mascara, tending to be a dramatic mascara, is there are a few clumps, but it is not a problem if you brush them out. And I've worn this mascara for about the last week and love it. It does not flake through the day. At the end of the day, it really does look about like this. Now I'll go ahead and do the second coat, again using that Bambi technique, which is bringing out the outside and then bringing in the inside and then also bringing up the middle and I will say usually we have one set of eyelashes one side that is not as good as the other and this is my weak side over on the left side for some reason in the middle of my lashes over on this left side they just don't tend to grow in as thick as they do on the right side I don't know why that is. I really like the look of a mascara that can give you that lash extension type look because I have tried wearing the false eyelashes and they pulled out my normal eyelashes, which I did not like. So there is the first coat over there and I'll go ahead and use my little lash comb. So that is after the first coat, truly amazing. Now I'll go in and you do have to kind of deglop the brush a little bit to make them really look thick, kind of wiggle it at the base of the lashes. And again, you're doing the Bambi, which is to the outside corner, to the inside corner, and then the, the middle. Gotta do the Bambi. 
Okay, that is the result of two coats of Damn Girl. And if you wanted to go a little bit more dramatic even, I think you could almost do a third coat. Absolutely love that. Look at those beautiful lashes. Not only along the top, but even the bottom lashes look rather full and dark. Well, that is how those lashes look from a distance, and I truly love them. Woo, damn girl, I can certainly see why they named it this. And if you're interested in learning a little more about the Damn Girl Mascara, I'll put a link below the video. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'm reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Absolutely love Gabrielle Bernstein. She is kind of a motivational, positive thinking type of guru. Ooh, I love this, and I think it's so true. I make decisions from a place of intuition and power. I make decisions from a place of intuition and power. Absolutely love this card, and I think it is totally true. And sometimes I think we all need to remind ourselves of the importance of using our intuition because intuition is one of our greatest tools. And you know, you don't know if by intuition you're really processing more information about a situation. And intuition could be viewed as a little bit of a magical thing or actually as a practical down to earth thing. Our intuition could be as simple as we're taking in hundreds of variables about the situation that we're not even consciously aware of and it gives us a good feeling inside of the real truth of that situation so our intuition helps us act accordingly. Or it could be that our intuition is a little bit our spiritual sense. Sometimes when you're in a situation, you just have that feeling of knowingness in your heart. Sometimes I even do get tingles all through my body when I have the intuition that a certain course of action is correct. So friends, just for today, let's realize the value of our intuition and let's listen to it. Because when we use our intuition, we can make better decisions from a place of intuition and power. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.